Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have incredible and interesting news. Blender 2.90 is finally available and it's here. Of course, this is something that they've talked about for a couple of weeks now and it's pretty cool to see that they have officially made the announcement and this tool is now here for anyone who wants to get it and actually start playing with it. We're going to talk about some couple of questions that you'll be having and also some things which I think a lot of people in the community just wants clarity about. So first things first, if you simply go over to the link which I'm going to put in the description, you'll notice that on 14th of April, there was a developers meeting and there was a lot of things that was talked about. The 2.83 has a lot of features that is supposed to come with it but they've actually moved or postponed some of these things to 2.90 this is to actually allow more development for these tools and probably do a lot of bug testing and so on and so forth so first things to actually notice that has been postponed over to 2.9 is the multi-res changes multi-res is one of the features that they've been working hard on and pablo has been doing a whole lot of good work about this and he has teased this thing over and over and it's going to be very interesting to actually see multi-res come over to blender sculpting tool and i've already talked about the multi-res thing and how it kind of you know looks very similar to what you can do with modbox which has to do with you oppressing your meshes whenever you want to make some high detail sculpts and also bring them down when you want to actually do something very light of course a lot of people will say it looks very much like zbrush but this is going to be a modifier which i think would make a lot of sense in the long run while sculpting in blender next thing is the ev motion blur ev motion blur is also something a lot of people have actually prayed hope for to see in blender 2.83 but unfortunately this will be coming over to blender 2.9 manta flow open vdb is also going to be coming to 2.9 as this is also something that has been postponed from 2.8 and we did talk and actually saw a lot of vdb updates coming over to blender with the new object and we actually covered a video about that so in case you want to see that link is going to be in the description the new operator search menu which is definitely something i would want to see is also going to be coming to 2.9 and there is also talks about the updates for the windows tablet coming still within the agenda there is also the manta cache and also replay improvement so in case you actually do your simulations and stuff you don't have so much time trying to get these things to play back there's a splash screen draw improvement there's also small sculpting features that has been teased to be coming to 2.83 which might probably make their way to 2.9 and i kind of feel like one of them might be the trim which we've already talked about and teased in the last you know couple of videos which we talked about and i also think that maybe there is going to be a huge huge improvement that might be coming to some sculpting section that has to do with blender sculpting side of things so in case you want to get blender you can simply go over to the link which i'm going to put in the description and you would notice like right from here blender is right now available within the daily build so you can get this and if you go over to the new features section you would notice that we now have this as one of the branches that is now available so if you go over to the blender reference page where you will find a lot of features that will be coming to blender 2.9 you will notice right now that the only feature that has been teased and that is visible is the modeling feature so the modeling feature includes the extrude dissolve and insert and a couple of weeks back i did see a tease about this but we didn't know for sure if it was coming to 0.9 or if it was going to be for 2.83 but of course i'm going to show you guys how this thing works in blender 2.9 so you don't need to worry yourself about it but with this said let's actually take a look at why they are skipping the idea of having 2.84 and jumping into 2.9 so the thing about them having 2.9 instead of 2.84 contrary to the 2.7 series that had to do with 2.71 all the way to 2.9 is the fact that for a period of years now they've been working with the two point series so for long time support the guys from blender are trying to see what and what they can do and how they can manage major releases of the series so 2.8 and 2.9 will be wrapped up in three different series yeah i do know that there's a lot of talks about if this is going to be a quarterly thing maybe it's going to be first quarter 2.81 second quarter 2.82 and third quarter 2.83 but that doesn't seem to be the case as we have seen right here that during february we got the release of 2.82 and in may the 2.83 is actually stipulated to be out and 2.83 long time support will be available for only two years as they would be shipping 2.9 in august and you can literally see that from august all the way to may 2021 we'll be getting blender 2.93 and long term support for that feature as well or for that update or release would be only for two years and after this that will be a wrap up 
of everything that has to do with the two point series that has lasted or that will be lasting for 21 years when it gets to may 2021 and then we'll start off with the three series and get over to the four series and hopefully we might get into some other series that only god knows how they might end but one thing to note is within the three series and the four series they're also going to be going for 3.0 all the way to 3.7 and also for the fourth series we're going to be getting 4.0 all the way to 4.7 and with all of this said it's very interesting to know that there is a blender 2.83 that is still in development and 2.9 is out so with the 2.9 out let's take a look at the feature that has been announced and the thing that you can do with this feature and how it might best suit you so with that said let's jump right into blender and take a look at this so with blender 2.9 open here you can literally see that it specifies it here as blender 2.9 so this is no hoax guys as you can see that there is now blender 2.9 but there's definitely nothing you know so new about the whole ui and everything that is happening right here if you simply press n on your keyboard you would notice that everything simply gets cleaned up as all my add-ons are actually gone so with our default cube here let's take a look at the new update that has come to the modeling section of blender 2.9 go over to the modifier and actually add a subdivision modifier so i'm going to set this as simple and just maybe add a couple more something like this click on apply then jump to the edit section by pressing tab and you would notice right now we have a whole lot of things going so first things first we'll switch over to the faces click right here and one thing which i would like to share with you guys is if you select the extrude you would notice you have an extrude tool that goes here this is very basic and normal for everyone to use and of course you might be using a couple of blender versions and you've seen this but what you've not seen is once you click right here there's a new tool that exists here so once you select this you can now you know dissolve this you can now click right here and also dissolve this right here and from this point you can click and actually dissolve all of these things you can notice that with this tool you can choose to insert some extra you can choose to add some more you can choose to come over to a section like this you can choose to reduce this all the way inside and you can see that right there and you can start this right now and also choose to actually cut this all the way in so i think this is definitely a very brilliant feature that they have right now in blender 2.9 as this is definitely going to you know help a lot of people uh get some stuff going so things that has to do with you uh in setting a lot of points in setting a lot of edges and also trying to delete so many edges this is definitely going to simply help you get these things over and done with i can definitely see a use case for both architects and also hard surface you know modeling artists and i'm very very you know excited about all of the cool features that is not coming over to blender so if you actually want to try this out you can simply go over to the link which is going to be in the description where you can get a copy of this and actually use this to start making some very incredible stuff for yourself so now that we've taken a look at blender 2.0 nine and you know seeing the whole new updates to this of course we've also talked about a couple of things that will be coming over to blender 2.9 it's still worth saying that you know the guys from blender are actually looking for the 2.9 series which is going to be 2.9 all the way to 2.93 to be everything node so they've gone ahead to say that at least a huge part of blender should be everything node you know come blender 2.93 and i'm actually a very strong supporter for this one so a lot of things they're looking forward to is to create nodes for things like modifiers so that it can be able to get or so that you can be able to work like you can do in houdini and get procedural modifying and, and also procedural modeling particles and hair is also expected to have node system physics and simulation constraints and kinematics and also a whole lot of other things so for the parametric modeling there is already a tease and you can literally see that this is not like a mock-up really looks more like what you can get in blender for sure and there has been a lot of talks about this one as well so if you simply take a look at some of the screenshots right here you can start noticing that they are trying to mimic the exact same feature that you can get when you're working within your shader panel over to you know some other tools so these are basically most of the tools that they are looking forward to creating stuff for so you can actually use nodes to add some very fun and interesting stuff and with blender 2.83 and also blender 2.8 series we've seen a lot of updates and some of the notable features includes the optics the noising which was very supported by nvidia that has to do with optics denoising for your viewports so in case you're working directly with cycles on your viewports you can definitely get that one going we already did a video about that and also the 
Models Physics Enabled Clothing Sculpting Brush, which actually made a huge, huge news online. And at the same time, we should not forget about the face sets, which also was a huge improvement to the sculpting side of things. Of course, there is also a couple of improvements with the pose brush, and hopefully, we're going to see a whole lot of development for the VR section and also for the USD feature that is now in Blender. And if you want to see a couple of videos that we've talked about some very interesting improvements that has also made its way to Blender 2.83 and other versions of Blender, link is going to be in the description where you can check these things out and also have fun playing with them. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.